I've had a lot of people ask me, how do I make ice cream without an ice cream maker? And I have some great recipes, dairy-free keto ice creams that I make, and yes, I use an ice cream maker. But this um, is one method, a mason jar. You have to have two wide mouth mason jars, or a one, whatever. And I, I have enough cream for two, so I'll be making two. So you pour one cup of heavy whipping cream. I'll do one in each jar. Because we are normally dairy free. So we don't make this. I have tried making it with coconut cream and it's just not the same. So it takes a lot of arm work to do this. So you need two tablespoons of xylitol. You can also use allulose. I personally cannot use allulose. I get headaches and horrible gastric issues. The best sweeteners for ice cream would be xylitol or allulose. You could also add a little bit of stevia glycerite. That also works well in ice cream. But right now I'm using xylitol. And to that you add a teaspoon of vanilla. If you wanted a different flavor, you could add whatever flavor you wanted, like banana, maple, almond. You add an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. And I'm gonna make one chocolate and one vanilla, so in the chocolate one, you add a tablespoon of cocoa powder. And now, the hard part because you have to shake these, shake them vigorously for five minutes until it almost doubles in size. So I'll set my timer for five minutes and see what happens. You might think this is easy, but try doing this for five minutes. And we did a heavy weight workout today, so this is even harder because my arms are sore from our workout but bake it, bake it, shake it as vigorously as you can because it needs, you need to get air in it. You're kind of whipping the cream by shaking it. And I don't normally do two at once so that I could switch arms. So this is gonna be very interesting. So Carl's a little stronger than I am, so he can shake it. I have tried making this with coconut cream and, and it did come out nice, but it doesn't whip up and fluff up as much as the heavy cream does. We're going to be switching back and forth because it's not easy. It, it, you think five minutes, ah, uh, what's five minutes? Five minutes is a long time. So we each did about a minute. <laughs> We've got two minutes and 20 seconds to go. Well, we've got just about a minute to go, so I'll finish this off. <laughs> so I, I, as you can probably see why I only make one at a time so I can switch off arms, unless you have somebody else that can take turns with you in doing this. It's really heavy now, I can tell. It's not liquid, hardly any liquid at all. Got about 40 seconds to go. And I think it's pretty much done because it doesn't sound liquidy at all. Okay, so I'm gonna open them up so that you can see the, whoa! <laughs> the volume increase. Doesn't that look good? Wow, great job, Carl. So now what we'll do is we'll put this in the freezer for a minimum of three hours up to 24 hours, and then we'll taste it. But I can't wait that long. I'm just going to see now. Hmm. Oh, that's good. So we'll put it in the freezer and see you back in three hours. 
So the mason jar ice cream has been in the freezer overnight, so now it's time to check it out. Sometimes you get a little, little bit of the cream on the outside so it's gonna freeze, but this is it, vanilla and chocolate. Um, just, a, just a little caution, I know yesterday Carl was really, really shaking these, which made it really nice and, but if you do that for like more than five minutes or too long, you're going to end up with butter. So do not over process. But now let's just, I know it's the morning, but you know, you got to taste it. Sometimes you might have to leave it out for like five minutes to get it softer, but this is the vanilla. Mmm. Nice and creamy. Now time to taste the chocolate. Just the right amount of chocolate, just the right amount of sweetener. And if there's there's if they sit outside for out of their freezer for 5 minutes, they'll be nice and soft and creamy. So enjoy. <laughs>